can I tell you an experience with Mr. Trump? Yeah. I don't have any experiences with him. Did you get a chance that to I talk can, to That him? I can tell you, that I can share about. Okay. Um, but here it is. Um, we're going to make the prayer now. All the boys want to do it together? Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Okay. Most of the kids are here, immigrants from uh, parents, second generation here, first generation, first generation Americans. First generation Americans. And are here to, um, to say and celebrate the Jewish life. Are we going to do it? Let's absolutely. do it together, guys. Let's do it. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed. Ve'ahavta Eid Adonai Elohecha. 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 We want Mashiach now. We want to uh, express this guy's dedication. He just met the most powerful guy in the world, Donald yeah. J. Trump. <laughs> and he's out here rapping Teflon uh, right after he met him. I just want to say uh, we respect you and we love you. Thank you so much. You're going to make the bracha? I'll do it too. I'd like to give a shout out to Trump. I'm going to be voting for him for the first or voting for the first time this year and I will be voting for him. Because Biden's an old crooked man. He has no idea what he's doing. He's not running. I don't know who's running it, but it's not him, bro. That guy needs to be put in a nursing home. Baruch <laughs> Atah. Rabbi, what's Trump doing? Amen. You have that. Okay, do the seven. Seven times around. No, I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen. Where are citizens? Okay. Are you a citizen? This guy came out of Trump's house. I'd like to shout out to Aptin Tumari. Um, I'm not sure. They're all, all the boys are making the building. Uh, no, they just oh, wanted. But what are you guys doing out here, boys? No, go, good people. Go, good people. Are you walking home? I'll walk with you. Shema I don't have a car. Tommy's inside. I have to go. <laughs> Keep your hands still. Do you know Rabbi Danny? Of course. Of course, of course, of course. I'm at the high school. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are not in the high school, are you doing? Yes. Oh, okay, that's you. I always come say hi to you guys. Did you do? That's you. Wow, bro. Yes. I'm on Citizen right now. Let's get a selfie. Fox LA. I love Trump, Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna win. <laughs> now, you've been, how long have you been sitting out here or standing around? Today, all day. All day? Yeah. Now, you told me that you made these, uh, Mini Magnificence. You made them. Yeah, just like Trump. Magnificent. The best president of my lifetime. And uh, why? what impelled you to uh, make these? I was going back to Mar-a-Lago, right? And I uh, people collect my artwork for the holidays. And I was making big Trumps for uh, President's Day. And so I made a little one. And I go, hey, should I take the little one back to Mar-a-Lago? Mar my cousin goes, yeah, take it back. And I go, oh my gosh, this is like Flat Stanley that kids take back home take photos of and then bring it back to class. I go, Mini Magnificence going to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> so I took it down to the uh, southernmost point in Florida. There's a hundred people in line, right? Wanting to get in line with the buoy. They see the little Mini Maga and everybody wants to get in a photo. So then we take them up to Cracker Barrel. Everybody wants to get in a photo with little Mini Maga. And I go, oh my God, I'm smuggling them on to Mar-a-Lago because you know, they bus you in. We get in, everybody on the bus wants to get in a photo. But as we go through the Secret Service, they took them from me. And I'm going, you guys are taking my original. You know, I can just walk them over to the uh, the shuttle. They're going, no, you gotta get somebody authority here. He's not going in. And I'm going, what? I'm writing letters. I'm going, I'm a fundraiser for Trump. You know, I'm going, God bless you people. He needs to see Minnie Mega. So Trump signed him and sent him to me. And he did one in gold. Is that like the coolest? 
And then he did one in black, and he even did the hat. I'm going, that's his typical sense of humor, you know? Oh, I see. You're very... All right, Holly, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. <laughs> How excited are you to, to get a chance to be here? I'm super excited. Um, as you know, I'm Jewish, and as a Jewish person in the Jewish nation, we all support Donald Trump. We want him to be our president. He's a massive supporter of Israel. He, he's in best interest for all Americans, whoever you are, uh, from every creed, race, religion. Trump is the answer for our nation today, and I can't wait to see him in 2024. How long have you been out here? It's like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But. Yeah, I didn't get to see him, so I'm a little disappointed on that. But I'll see him next time. We'll see him. More important, I'll see him as my president. Great. Anything you want to add? How exciting. You're excited, right? Huh? You're excited. I'm pretty excited. For what? Just to see him. Oh, for sure. I'm super excited to see him. I really wanted to see him. Couldn't see him. Maybe next time. What's your name? Love Cohen. Hi. Oh. Hi, my name is Arya Mobin. I am attending currently Brentwood uh, School, high school as a freshman. I just ended school today. Um, and both my parents and this uh, beautiful fundraiser for Mr. Trump. Uh, we need Mr. Trump back as of right now. As a Jew myself, Mr. Biden is not doing enough for the Jews uh, of Israel and Jews in the diaspora. Uh, as of my, especially the, especially of, the, of the tragedies during the college campuses at uh, Columbia, it's horrible. Um, as of right now, Biden is not uh, funding any of the Iron Dome or doing anything to protect the state of Israel, which is our homelands. And under Trump, he funded the he funded the Iron Dome. He created the Iron. He uh, uh, helped. He protected Israel. He uh, did the Abraham Accords. And under we need Trump back. We need Trump to uh, sustain peace for the Jews around the world. You have his full support. Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. How exciting was it for you to be here? Mega. <laughs> Very excited. I'm here to support uh, President Trump. I'm here to see him. Uh, when he was coming, my heart was racing. I, I was just so happy to see him. Did you, did you get a chance to look at him? Uh, I think I saw him in the passenger seat of the Suburban. But yeah. Did he wave or anything like that? Yeah, I was, I was standing four more years. I, I love this guy. Uh, we need him back. We need him for the economy. We need him for the peace and uh, the safety of the Jews around the world. And uh, as of right now, Biden, he's not in a, a, a great mental state. And um, he's just not doing enough for us. Hi, my name is Ben. Ben? Yeah. I go by Ben Intelligent. That's B E N T E L L I G E N T 76 on Twitter or X. Okay, Ben, so what brings you out here? What brings me out here is Trump's re election so that way we can save California and save the United States. We're going to save LA. We're out here knocking on doors and we're going to make sure that we put Trump back in the White House. So, how, excited, how excited was it for you? Did you get a chance to see him? You know what? I was over on the corner, I was helping out my friend that's Filipino, so Trump saw a Filipino and a black dude with the big old Trump 2024 sign, okay? That's the first thing he saw as he turned that corner. So I know it made him happy. Made it happy. That's right. You think he saw you? I know he did, because my friend got on my video. I didn't hit record, I was too excited. But check it out. We're actually going to do the work that's required to win back California. You can find me on Twitter, like I said, and you can do this in your own neighborhood. You can start a meeting at your own IHOP or Denny's in the back room, you can get started in your own neighborhood. We're, your own neighborhood is how we start this and how we win it. So make sure that if you need any help, you can reach out to me, but make sure that you do something. Don't just sit there and only vote for president. Make sure you vote down ballot for Congress, for Senate, for State Assembly or State Senate, whatever it is in your state. That's what you got to do. Talk to your neighbors, knock on some doors, get active. It's good walking anyway, right? You might lose 10 pounds. Yeah, let's go. So again, my name is Ben, and let's get it done, everybody. Did you read that? I see it's got a tag halfway through. You read the whole thing?